Yes, hey, Mr. Pussycats, meow, and welcome back to not only a new video, but a new year, 2024, here we go, long time no see, Pussycats, I hope you're all well, look where I am, hey, hey, the future of all futures, that's where I am, being and bargains, no, Alport Castle, I'm back, as promised, last time I come here, I came and it were chucking it down, and I couldn't really get out of the tent, I couldn't see it, I couldn't get any drone footage, I wanted to bring Geordie Bear here and Cumbry Lad Outdoors and Brandon Bear, so they're here with me today. And again, Cozzy Bear is back. So, five of us out today. The first thing we did when we came here, we had a little look around the famous Derwent Dam, hoping that it'd be flowing like you see on some of the videos. Unfortunately, we believed to be dry. On closer inspection, it was actually flowing but just at a very small rate. It was sort of trickling, but it was still beautiful. Once we'd done that, we parked the cars at Derwent Overlook Car Park, and we headed up on our walk through the woodland. We got to the top of the woodland, got some fantastic views over the beautiful Peak District, and then the walk became a little bit more steady and a little bit more flat. We headed up past the beautiful views on the flat walk and headed over to where we are now. The stunning, and beautiful, amazing, UK's largest landslide, Alport Castle. It's touch and go with the drone with the wind. I'll try my best, I'll try my best. But it's good to have you back. 2024, baby. Let the adventures begin. Yes, I, Mr. Fussycats. Big shout out, Wayne. First things first, let's get Cumbria lad over here. Let him have a look at this bad boy. And then uh, we'll do a bit of wild camping after because it makes complete and utter sense. There's my bag. I've claimed my spot. We've just stepped away a little bit from the edge because it was really, really windy. But we've still managed to get a pitch with an absolutely stunning view. Look at that. Right down valley absolutely beautiful not half as much wind and Alport Castle is just there and because we're out of wind here as well Paul's just down there come we lad Brandon Bear's there I've got Jordy Bear and Cozzy Bear up camping near me and because we're out of wind we can get drone up why am I pointing why am I showing you drone goes in air obviously don't know why I'm pointing but yeah let's get the tent up anyway big shout out the dictionary what are you doing, like a, a size test? You nearly snapped your glasses then. <laughs> oh, they're on Clara, it's all right. Big shout out this man, who very, very kindly got me this for Christmas. You'll see it when it's up better, but it's the, uh, it's the Zerifos Compact 2 by Wild Country turning, uh, Wild Country by turning over. Cosy Bear's got the uh, MSI over rubber on the go. Jody Bear's getting his bird up. Not sure what them two boys are in tonight, but I'll soon find out. But yeah, big shout out, Jody Bear. Thank you very much, mate. Best Christmas present ever. And we're set up. Look at that for a pitch. Got my drone here, which I'm hoping to get up. My chair, which is about to go up. And my current drink, which is a Sweps Lemonade Zero. Tent of choice, Xerifos Compact 2. Well, country by 10 and over. Firstly and most importantly, happy 2024, Mr. Tactical Duck. If you know. Yeah, no. Inside it's a bit busy, but anyway. Uh, water. Uh, all day breakfast for tomorrow. 
chicken tikka and rice for tonight. There's my fork. Gone for cheeky fork from kitchen drawer. You know, one of them that's been there, you're not used in about two years. Probably used for dog food kind of fork, but you know, anyway. Jet boil to cook it on. Uh, gas. A few cans of lemonade, Schweppes. Some lightly salted crisps, I think. In the corner, we got joggers, thermal socks, because it's going to be zero tonight. Montane gloves, new purchase. Uh, sun blesser head torch and uh, portable charger. Sleeping setup, new pillow. Go for the trichology. I quite like this uh, waistband so it won't move, but. I am going to get a seat to summit again because you get the locking system, but this one on offer, we're really cheap. Giving it a go. The seat to summit uh, insulated mat with the Rab Solar 3. Now, this is going to get a real test tonight. It's going down to zero, maybe minus one, keeps changing, and this comfort rating is minus one. So, let's see how it gets on in its limit. Got my bag inside, just there. I could probably put it in porchway, so anyway. But that is my setup. And with that setup, and a pitch like that, and a fine specimen like Brandon Bear, you can't oh. complain. What do you reckon, Brandon Bear? Like you like it, mate? Loving it. Do you have a nice Christmas? Not too bad. Still get, there. get all nice. Just camping, yeah. <laughs> what new tent did you get? Yeah, Telemark 1. Telemark 1, yes. Sir. I'm going to have a look at it in a minute. Look at sun coming through that gap there. Bloody hell. It's like heaven. Boys in it background. What lovely view. In about 40 to 50 yards away from myself, Brandon Bear set up the Telemark 1. And I was wondering what tent you was going to bring. But Cumbria Lad Outdoors has brought his Northern Light. What is it, Northern Light? Two. Two. But more importantly, Forget the tent. For the 2024 year, the main man, the Cumbrian Yeti, Cumbrian Land Outdoors, is back! We're back in the game. We're back in the game, yes! yes aye. Bigger and better than ever this year. Bigger, stronger, fully charged, raring to go, mate. We've got big plans, haven't we? Massive plans, mate. Big adventures, big plans. You're doing Adrian's Wall? Adrian's Wall, yep. I'm doing Coast to Coast. We're all on it. We're all doing mad stuff, but doing a crap load of camps. Oh, loads. More fells, more locations, bigger and better. We're just going to smash it as we always do, mate. We are. Yep. Are you in this bad boy with your new trekking poles? Yep. You trek yourself to a new watch? I did, yes. It is the Garmin Phoenix 7 Pro Solar. Smart as well, so isn't it? I've had my first go at navigating with that. You did? Yeah, I didn't put any map on. I knew the route, but I didn't say oh, and I didn't put any map on myself. I just left it and sort of... And it worked all right. You're, you're yeah. learning, aren't you? So, so? Yeah, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to and how exactly it works. So it made sense to do our my, my first navigation camp with it somewhere where we knew someone knew the route. So could get lost either way. Yeah. And you can just keep practicing. I think it's got a plan to do a few local routes, but... That, I'm guessing, will come in handy for when you do places you've never been before. Absolutely. So. Especially for multi-day hikes as well, like Cumbria, uh, like Cumbria Way, which yeah. we did last year, yeah. and Hadrian's Wall this year. So That's a one man. Well, stay tuned to, not my channel, just my channel, but this man, Cumbrian Land Outdoors. Link in the description. Get subscribing for the big 2024. Yes, I. Yes, I. Meow. Oh, meow. So the, uh, the mist has come in. Big time. I got the drone up, it would touch and go with the wind, but I got the drone up, but within about a minute it just got lost in the mist, so I got what I could. All the boys are just down there where Cumbria Lad Outdoors and Brandon Bear are camped, so I'm going, to, I'm going to meet them down there in a minute, just cooking my tea. But look at this guy, it's just great to be out. Whoo, it's good, it's nice, it's crisp, it's cold, but it's bloody beautiful ah get me chair in it a tip down there look at that stove bit of tea on go tent beautiful views even though it's misty yeah it's fantastic and i really really do hope you all had an absolutely fantastic christmas and uh 
and an absolutely amazing new year. I really do. Mischief, really mischief. Sorry for the lack of videos eh, so early on in the video in the year. And, uh, for you, most of you'll probably know by now. My second love is boxing, and uh, I've got a big fight coming up. So training a lot, dieting, zero sugar lemonade, no alcohol whatsoever. My food. And that is. I won't get into all that. It's quite boring. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've been training hard and whatnot. But I'll be out. I'll be out. Plenty of videos to come. So anyway, I'm going to go down there, have a really good catch up with Paul, and a really good crack with the rest of the lads, and I'll bring you guys back shortly. Well, it's about 6 pm. No, a bit later. And I've had to come and uh, get a brew on the go because, as you can see, it's pitch black, but it's very, very cold. So. That's for morning. Sorry, just talking to nothing then. All you could see with that. That's for the morning. I'm going to get this brew on now. A nice cappuccino. Lovely jubbly cappuccino. You know where it's at. Pussycat. Meow. Yes, I. Big shout out, Wade. Big shout out, Costa. Link in the description, Costa, if you want to sponsor the shit out of me. Right guys, so, got me cappuccino, chilling in tent, had a great crack with the lads down there, absolutely splendid, sorry I'm trying not to get this light to blind my viewers, it was just so nice, especially the uh, the height coming up, it was crisp, it was not massively hard but it was certainly steep enough and it was, I don't know, three miles, three and a bit miles. Uh, it was just lovely. The views were brilliant, and just the the lovely fresh air again. And first time of the year being out it was an absolute belter to to kick the year off. That little hike. So yeah, I'm gonna have this coffee. I'm gonna go back down with the lads for half hour, and then probably come up and watch a bit of Netflix on on my phone and have an early night. So. We've got tomorrow, yeah. Gonna get up tomorrow. Lovely that. Gonna get up tomorrow. Have some nice bricky. Hopefully with a nice view, but we'll see. Might have to have it in tent, who knows? And uh that's when I'll see you next. So enjoy the drone footage. Keep it real with Ian Beale. Big shout out, Wayne. And yes I, Mr. Pussycats. See the morning. Yes, I, Pussycats, good morning. Fucking shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Cut! Look at the, uh, look at the frost on this tent. Mad. Hey, right. let's get coffee on, because man needs a coffee. Look at that. That's what you call a view on the morning. That's why we do what we do.
That's why wild camping is the future. Frosty tent. Starting to get a little bit of light. We're just enjoying this amazing sunset. Just packing up a bit, the bits inside away just to get ahead, but I did just try to get the drone up into the sunset, but because of how cold it is, it won't let me do it. The batteries were too cold, so I do apologise, but I promise I tried, as you can see. Another frosty tent there. Wow, y'all, Vern is frosty, mate. Whoa! Yeah, that looks that looks unreal, actually. <laughs> What a place, what a camp. Thought my tent were frozen. Looks like his has just come straight out of the freezer. Unreal, absolutely unreal. Look at this. Wow. Best morning ever. That's my bag there. And that's where I was somewhere here. My rubbish bag inside. Leave no trace, see by low. No trace left. Jordan just packing up. Cosy Bear has just sorted his rubbish bag out. It's not all mine, don't look like it. <laughs> it's not all his, it's everyone's. Oh, look at this. Yeah, it's not all Cozzy's, but yeah, he's kindly sorted that rubbish bag out, which will be getting taken down with us as well. All the boys, I've left no trace. Woo! So, I must admit that this morning is one of the best mornings I've ever, I've ever had on a wild camp. And it's a brilliant way to kickstart 20, 20, oh, look at this, look at this, the, the camera just didn't do it justice, like the sheer size of it and obviously Alport Castle over there, I mean, we came here really for Alport Castle but we ended up finding this view and yeah we had some time over there but it's become a little bit much more than just Alport Castle, it's a full beautiful wild camp in the Peak District and it's been nothing but spectacular, it really has. So I hope you've enjoyed as much as me, Jordy Bear, Brandon Bear, Cozzy Bear and Cumbria Lad Outdoors. Has Cumbria Lad Outdoors had to get off early this morning so he's gone. But thanks for watching, more videos to come. Keep it real with Ian Beale. Big shout out Wayne and yes I Mr Pussycats. Help.